proper. Street, 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 street. Ooh, that fucking dips. Oh, it's so ugly. Shit. Uh, all right. Some thickness going. to drop that. Let's 
try and fix this a little bit. Oh, it's gnarly. That is gnarly. Got a fucking chalk line on this thing. Try and come up a touch here. I think. All right, let's go see if that fixes that. Go with this. That corrects that dip. Alright. Not great. Not ideal. up a little bit. Terrible. better much straighter big hooks there yeah that'll work bang bang better here to go you know four or five rows up to see how straight these eaves are that way you can make a correction on your fourth run and square this up so as you're going up it remains square to that hip over this we're gonna obviously have to snap a line across to get that matching the other side maybe a drop row but that's the whole purpose of this it's to uh, I mean, these eaves, you know, a lot of time at the corner of a hip, they'll, they'll hook way out. I'd rather just run four rows across, even if it's a whole length. Um, it wasn't done on that side, and you, you know, you can kind of see variations in that side, but if you look at my runs here, there's obviously a, a hump in this roof on the far side, but these rows are laser straight. I didn't have to chalk any lines. Um, you know, sometimes it does, but, you know, pay attention to these. You know, if these aren't lining up close, 
something's coming out so this should be square here and this should be square here but this you know this is tolerable but I mean down here they're kind of getting pretty veed so I could tell that there was something on the uh, out on the eave as these shingles you know should be relatively square they are not always perfect but that's how you fix it just carry a chalk line and use it don't be lazy the good enough gang you know that doesn't fly on my roof so you're going to have to just trust that if these are you know coming out not tight they're telling you something so just always pay attention to those keyways oh oh those are those are mangled get these up later somewhere I mean, a lot of people say too, like they'll be like, oh, trust, you know, trust your paper for your runs. That's no, these aren't accurate. This is not accurate. These are not good. That's not good enough. Trust your eyesight. Trust the, trust these, you know, keyway three tab, you know, that's what they'd call them on there. But, you know, trust all these edges that they will be telling you something. Oh, that's fucking in there. But yeah, paper is not straight or square. Eaves are not straight or square. So trusting your paper is just, it's not good enough. I mean, it's, I guess you can kind of use it as a reference, but to trust that that's straight and square, no. Your roof's gonna be, just look like shit, so. a little off because I'm switching back to five nails it's got contractor one four nails but I said that that wasn't enough it's a low wind area but so now I gotta spend a few few couple hours trying to get my nailing back but yeah another trick too when you're coming up these runs is you know don't just go ahead and run up uh, if you're worried about, you know, this staying straight, keep filling this in as you go up. Don't just run up it because by the time you get to the top, these can all be shifted one way or the other and it's gonna be completely fucked when you get to the top. So just keep filling as you go and that'll keep you square now to this square piece, right? You think of a square run, it's gonna stay square the whole way up. Don't just run up to the top and hope for the best. That's not how you shingle because by the time you get to the top it could be completely twisted out of whack especially if you don't know what you're doing on shorter runs yeah you can get away with it because you can kind of correct it to the hip up top but on long runs don't waste your time you'll be spending more time guessing more time guessing than uh than shingling so yeah so remember keep these flat Take keyways all the way square, keep them tight all the way up. This will keep me true to that chalk line. I'm kind of in a weird position right now.
There, see? Look, square, 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 square. That's what you wanna see. You know, two, I'll go up a little bit maybe to that and then I'll start backfilling again, again, to keep it square going up. Now these California speed valleys, they might not work, you know, in super ice dammy, you know, Northern Michigan, Ontario. Those, you know, they might be, but I mean, I've never had a roof leak. Not, especially not in the valley. So, if you're having issues, it's probably something else, something that you've done. Yeah, you can cut valleys, you know, you can, um, uh, you can cut valleys, you can weave them. But this contractor likes uh, open valleys, so. Yeah, there's a little variation up top. That's why there's such a hump there. I'll try and work that out with the shingle when I get there. Same with here, but we'll see. No! like I said keep everything square sometimes these will deviate but again it could be imperfections in the shingle as long as it's nothing crazy you're fine they will sort themselves out over time sort themselves See, already back to square. Oh, it's out completely. You know, if you got a little gap here, that's okay. That's a little big up top, but it's got two different pitches here, so obviously it's not gonna lay perfectly flat. Plus their valleys were um, 
I don't know, when they cut them, they, you know, one's, one's cut here and then the other one's up there. Like it's, yeah, it's kind of the way it goes. You want to keep it as tight as you can, but it's overlapped, you know, enough that that's kind of irrelevant, but it's more of a personal appearance thing. I don't like the way it looks when it's too gappy. Let's see, make it a touch better. Try and tighten that up. Now we've got shingles in. The tars, the tar lines won't. You know, as long as you're not right down in there. As tight as I can. Yeah, if you're nailing near the valley, you know, you want to try and be, you know, six inches up. If you're nailing near, I mean, chances of water running in a pitch like this, you know, whooshing down and up now through the metal and nail, like it's, there's no standing water in there, so. about anymore I can shingle one-handed you know hand on the gun here but it's I don't know I just found that my runs weren't staying straight they weren't it's not a perfect system because all the shingles would have to be perfect and they're not so you know if you get shingles like where this parts kind of notched out and these are longer or vice versa and you know people are just running and gunning like this like it, it's it's never gonna stay straight People have care too much about what other people think and are worried too much about speed instead of worrying about quality. I make enough money doing this job that you can just worry about how things look versus worrying about how fast you are for your ego. 